Okay, in this next question here, we want to find at what times of day uh, in a 24-hour period is the depth of the water or the tide, uh, 6 meters. So if you recall our equation for the height in the last video was 3 times cos of 22.5, then I had t minus 2, close bracket, plus 5. So if my height is 6, I want to solve this equation. Okay, and let's go about it by just bringing the 5 over. So I'll have 1 equals all of this. And then divide everything by 3. So I'll have 1 over 3 equals cosine of 22.5 t minus 2. Take the inverse. 22.5 t minus 2. Cos inverse of a third is it's going to be 70.528 equals 22.5 t minus 2. Let's bring this up here. To divide both sides by 22.5. That'll give me 3.1346 equals t minus 2, or 5.13 equals t. Okay, so that is the first time when the height of the tide is 6 meters. Now, if you recall our graph, and you know what, before I do this, let me, um, let me just shrink this work first. Put it off to the side here. I'm going to take this as well and just bring it down here. If you recall our graph, okay, we started around here, went up then came back down, then up again, and back down. So that was about 24 hours roughly here. This was 18. This was at 10. This was at 2. The low tide was 2 meters. The high tide was 8 meters. So it says that at roughly 5 hours and 13 seconds, which is going to be, I'd say, about in here, we have a height of 6 meters. And remember, the, the middle of the graph through here is 5. So it looks like there's two other places, just you know, eyeballing it from your graph, uh, even in red. So we have this one here. We also have one over here. And we have another one over here, right before the end, possibly. Well, how would we get those points? So, um, if you look closely, okay, you'll see that, I mean, the distance from this point to the middle is going to be 10 minus 5.13. Because of the symmetry of the graph, from that point to this point, it'll be the same distance. So what is that? 4.87. So that's 4.87, and so is this, which means from 0, I'm looking at a total elapsed time of, or going from here all the way to here, 10 plus 4.87, well, that's going to be 14.87. Uh, where else? We have another point over here. 
which when you think about it, it's just this point shifted over by the length of one cycle, which is 16 units. So I'm going to have 5.13 plus 16, which gives me 21.13. So my times, um, let me just make sure I got this right here. 5.13. My first one, uh, 10 is my middle after eight hours. Yep. So my times when I have a height of six meters is going to be 5.13. My second time is going to be 14.87. And my third time is going to be 21.13. And notice how that last one is within the 24 hour time interval, which is good enough.